Hello and welcome to watch our video. Our group's research object is Tom's Shoe Manufacturing Company. First, let's talk about the company's overview. Tom's is headquartered in Los Angeles. It was founded in 2006 by entrepreneur Blake Mykoski. Designs and sells shoes, glasses, coffee, clothing, and handbag. Tom's is a company known for its buy one get one free strategy. For every pair purchased by a customer, Tom's will donate a pair of shoes to a child in need. Through the model, Tom's has distributed millions of pairs of shoes, providing comfort and protection to those who do not have the right shoes. Through the strategy, they not only provided more than 75 million pairs of shoes, but also helped restore the sight of more than 400,000 people, and helped prevent bullying by collecting backpacks, among other things. With a presence in more than 70 countries, Tom's sustainable business model has inspired a global corporate movement that has shaken up the industry with novel ideas. Next, let's evaluate this strategy. For most consumers, Tom's great appeal lies in the apparent simplicity of its offer. You buy a pair of shoes, we give a pair to someone in need. But the truth is that, while this messaging is obviously a great way to market or otherwise raise money, Common problems include inefficiency, dependency, and disruption to the local economy. The company focuses on the program, which feeds the view that the world's poor are helpless people who passively wait to come from shoe-buying consumers. Tom's efforts do not address the root causes of poverty and are inefficient. By giving away shoes, people have dependency. The researchers were unable to find a way in which shoes had a substantial impact on the lives of poor children. In fact, the data showed that receiving shoes caused children to spend less time on homework. This type of donation perpetuates the stereotype of the poor as helpless and passive, and they will depend on it. This charitable model has damaged the structure of the local economy to some extent, mainly because many free shoes are sent to the market, making it impossible for local shoemakers to compete, causing them to lose market and business. Second, Toms do not partner with local businesses or support local jobs does not help the local economy develop or create sustainable jobs. The failure of such donation programs has the following effects. On the company's marketing. 1. Reputational damage. Critics argue that Tom's giving model does not address the root causes of poverty and can create dependency and economic disruption. These negative views could lead to damage to Tom's reputation, especially among consumers who are concerned about social responsibility and sustainability. 2. Consumer Suspicion This criticism could lead to consumer skepticism about Tom's donation program. Consumers may begin to question the company's motives and practical effects, and have doubts about buying Tom's products or supporting its brands. 3. Competitive Pressure Other competitors may use the failure of Tom's donation model to attack the company and highlight their own socially responsible programs or more efficient ways of giving. This could increase competitive pressure in the market and make it more difficult for Tom's in the market. 4. Brand Positioning Adjustments Tom's may need to reevaluate its brand positioning and marketing strategy. Companies may need to emphasize other sustainability initiatives or social responsibility programs to balance or compensate for the negative impact of the donation program. While following the buy one get one free model, the company has plenty of options. The first option is offered by the shoe company Juntos. The idea is that, when they sell a pair of shoes, it's a sustainable idea in the long run. And this kind of corporate social responsibility is a better marketing strategy because what they provide is education. At the same time, the company ensures that the production process is more responsible using sustainable materials such as wool and banana trees to produce products. The second option is Sanic, another shoe company committed to sustainability. The company aims to provide non-impact footwear for men and women to reduce their environmental impact by using recycled tires, tubes, latex, etc. They are also partnering with Operation Smile, an international children's medical charity that provides free surgery for children with cleft lips. While raising funds, Sanic is raising awareness of the program by posting videos and news on its blog and donating a portion of its profits to the cause. The third option is Uniform 1 for 1 Remix. 
The idea is to provide free school uniforms to children in need in sub-Saharan Africa. Unlike Tom's, they give jobs to local women and help them maintain local businesses. The company also distributes school uniforms in the region, which are essential as they are mandatory throughout the region. By adopting these corporate social responsibilities, companies can have the following impact on their marketing. The market target can be more specific and segmented, as customers who value and prioritize education and child health want to be involved in organizations that support it. Companies with good corporate social responsibility, especially those related to education and health, often get more media exposure and brand exposure, thus further increasing their marketing. Guarantee brand loyalty. This is because consumers are more associated with brands that support children's health or education. This deep connection ensures customer loyalty, because for them, loyalty to the brand means loyalty to the cause. Last, let's talk about the recommendation. What should Tom's do to change? Tom's has faced criticism and the world for making the poor dependent on its brand instead of really working to solve major problems like unemployment and poverty in less developed countries. The problem goes far beyond children's lack of shoes. So instead of working with manufacturers and locals in Southeast Asia or Asia, Tom's could have built a manufacturing base in poor countries in Africa. This strategy will enable Tom's to address larger issues such as employment and poverty as it can create jobs for local communities in poor countries and promote the contribution of local manufacturing to the economic development of these countries. Second, instead of focusing on giving away shoes every time someone buys them, Tom should focus on providing food and shelter to children in poor countries. The profits the company makes from every pair of shoes sold and the help from local and international charitable organizations in the critique and are not a good way to be charitable. Giving shoes would be a short-term solution. As school children age, they usually outgrow shoe sizes. Thanks for watching our video.